And for two weeks, the book was the number one best selling ebook on Amazon ahead of Anthony Bourdain's Kitchen Confidential and Stanley Tucci's Taste. On the Rocks was above them for over two weeks, the number one overall best selling ebook. Now that's hard to believe. The, the message and the theme of hospitality not only comes out in the book, but it comes out talking with all three of you in this conversation today. And so you so clearly love people. So for all three of you, what's this process been like? You're mentioning the crowds and people coming out to see you for whether it's your story as a writer, as an author, et cetera, et cetera. What has it been like getting all these people's responses to this story and this process? This has been unbelievable for me. Uh, my wife had said, after all this was over 20 years ago, she said, Joe, would you bore me for the next 20 years? Well, actually, I did, okay? And now, all this notoriety coming after 20 years, and I think people are very happy that this all happened this way, because those 500 people or so, and then we had another big... Uh, you know, book signing two days later down in the rocks at Mancini's Bakery. And all these people, over 200 people came down there. Uh, you know, I, I treated people really well. And people wanted to reciprocate. And they know, you know, that they felt that maybe I, maybe I got a bad deal here. Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, I always said, uh, the federal government, you want to put me in jail? You should be putting a statue up of me what I've done in the rocks, right? But that's that's near or far, you know. I mean, but the bottom line was people said, Hey, listen, we want to give back to Joe because he was really good to us. And I and I and that's probably the and, I, and that's probably the reason. And it, it's been so exhilarating to me. It really has. I mean, I've had some health problems. You know, uh, you know, I had two kidney operations. I, I have, a, I'm legally blind now. I'm not driving, so it, you know, my life has been very boring. But now it's really gotten to the point where it's it's been great. You know, thanks to Maria and Ruthie. And and for the two authors, what has it felt like to get this amazing response from the audience and people out there? Go ahead, Ruthie. You can go first, and then I'll go. Oh, it's, it's heartwarming. It. I was supposed to be on social media, but I also teach, and so, and and I'm working on an artificial intelligence tool for students that will give feedback as they write. So, I keep twenty hour days, and I just got on Facebook two weeks ago. So having done that, especially from former students, the outpouring has it's like brought me to tears sometime. It's reconnecting with people over the book that has really been so wonderful. And I, I feel like for me, this has been such a 17 year journey. And I always believed that there was something special about this story. It was in a way, something that I, I tried to describe and convey to agents and publishers. And, you know, they didn't want to hear, just trust me, it'll be a hit. But seeing that exactly what I felt in my gut for 17 years is actually playing out in real life. Whenever we're in Pittsburgh, it is almost surreal because people are talking about the Steelers right now. And they're talking about, you know, fall festivals and things going on. And they're talking about On the Rocks. And it's really kind of cool and crazy to know that something that you created means so much for people. And, you know, just an aside, I live in New Jersey now. And the one day I was in the line in Target with my youngest daughter, who's eight years old, and she was checking out in the self-checkout line. 
And I thought to myself, oh, this could, this is going to be a disaster because there was a line of people behind us. And so this woman comes up to me and I'm thinking, oh, geez, you know, we're, we're really holding up this line. I'm about to get yelled at. And she taps me on the shoulder and I look and I'm about to just take it all in and, you know, get receive this ear beating for going too slow. And she goes, hi, I'm so sorry to interrupt you with your child, but I know who you are. And I just wanted to say that I follow you and I wanted to wish you sincere congratulations. I love your book so much. And that, you know, people in the the self-checkout line, they stop checking out their items and everybody was looking at me. And it was the first time where I was not in Pittsburgh because these things, they can happen in Pittsburgh because the story is so well known and dad is, is so well known. But to have that happen in the suburbs in New Jersey, and she said, you know, I know I she said, I, I hope that I didn't overstep my boundaries. I said, no, not at all. You know, that said, you have no idea just how much that's meant to me because I've been trying to push this for 17 years. And it was one of the coolest moments. I said, you know, you're the, this is the first time something like this has ever happened. And she said, well, when people start reading your book, it won't be the last. And, you know, I thought that that was so wonderful. The, the, the big thing, uh, which is amazing to me is that the book come out August the 8th, you know, 2023. And for two weeks, the book was the number one best selling ebook on Amazon for culinary memoirs ahead of Anthony Bourdain's Kitchen Confidential and Stanley Tucci's Taste. On the Rocks was above them for over two weeks, the number one overall best-selling ebook. Now that's hard to believe because this is just a was just a Western Pennsylvania thing, and Bourdain and Tucci are worldwide known authors and entertainers. Tell us where we can find the book. Tell us where we can go next. Tell us how we can follow you, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Tell us all the ways we can keep in touch with this story. Absolutely. So the book is really wherever books are sold. So we're on Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, Walmart, Target. Uh, we're also at most bookstores. So, but if we're not, uh, most bookstores can't order us. We are through Ingram and Idlewees and all of the other major catalogs. Uh, as far as keeping in touch, um, all of the social media for Facebook and Instagram uh, for me is the handle at Joe Costanzo. That's J O E. C-O-S-T-A-N-Z-O, Prima Donna, P-R-I-M-A-D-O-N-N-A. And I'm also on LinkedIn and um, Twitter. I think I'm Maria C. Palmer. But uh, if you just go on to mariacpalmer.com, that's all of my information. I, I wanted to mention the Heinz History Center has been such a great partner with us. And they have signed copies. We've all signed copies. So if you order from there, you get the signed copies.